Good afternoon, Mike Winkler here, and I wanted to take a minute and I wanted to talk about QRadar in the cloud, right? Kind of as a thought before we get into the meat of this is uh, the year is 2018 and we've been doing this for about three years with this video series and I try to pull things down as they become less relevant or as te technology has changed and the world has changed a lot in the last two and a half, three years we've been doing this. So we kind of have to change along with it. All these great ideas I gave you back then, they're still there, they're still good, but our solutions have changed with your need for a cloud, right? So let's dig right into this. Um, curate our on-premises. It's there, it's great. It's gonna continue to do what it's always done. It's not going away. It's a terrific solution and we were always going to have this for you, right? I mean, I can't predict, uh, you know, 40 years in the future or anywhere, but there is zero plan to go away from Q8 or on-premises. So don't even think about that, right? It's going to be there. It's continued to develop. It is still our flagship platform and it's still awesome. Okay. But then we get to, we're going to talk about web services. First order of business is always Amazon Web Services, right? This is always the one everyone wants to talk about. So their native interface is what's called Cloud Trails. They collect their own logging so that you can send it off to wherever it is that you'd like to do it. Okay, all well and good. Curator is compatible with AWS, either the hardware or the SaaS version of Curator. No problem at all. We can build a Curator right inside Amazon Web Services if that's the route you want to go. And we have a few people doing that. And the, it's available in the App Exchange. So if you want to use AWS for your existing QRadar, SaaS or hardware, it's no problem, right? AWS, no problem at all. Next up, and these themes always seem to come in order, right? We have these conversations in this order. Um, Azure Log Hub, right? So this is Microsoft Answer. The native interface is called the Log Hub. It is compatible with uh, QRadar hardware and software. Curator can be built entirely inside Azure, and instead of there being an app for it, you just Google Curator on Azure for the install details. There's not an app. Here's, there's an instruction set, but it's kind of thematically to say AWS and Azure, still no problem. Um, there's been some weird misinformation about what runs where and what's compatible with what, and we've got real live Curator customers using both of these services right now that are parsing logs both with their services built in AWS or Azure or pulling logs down from it. Um, and I'm not quite sure what the source of all the odd, uh, no, this doesn't work with that going on, but everything works fine, okay? But getting past this point, Amazon and Azure, right, we fit the big stuff. What is IBM doing, right? IBM owns what we used to call SoftLayer, which is now IBM Cloud. So if we take a look at that, this is Curator built on the cloud. Right? Not rocket science. It's built in our server, and it's, uh, it's run in our big data centers here in the United States. And it used to be called QRack, and it's sometimes called QRadar SaaS, and I don't want to get lost in the names of it. But this is QRadar built in the IBM cloud. Same software you know and love. There's a couple of control panel icons that are different. Other than that, you would not notice the difference if you've been using QRadar for years. Um, it's hosted by IBM Cloud Services. We take a data gateway and we put that on your site, right? So that this is a, a low format box or we can put it in a VM. It gathers all of your logs. It encrypts them, it compresses them, and it sends them up to our cloud where all the heavy lifting is done. Okay, fair enough. The fault tolerance, the backup, the failover, the updating, all of this is handled by IBM. So if rather than build this by yourself in AWS or Azure, if you want us to do the heavy lifting in the back end, we'll do this for you in our IBM cloud. Um, same unlimited capacity for log events and net flows and all of that good stuff. Um, anyone that's listened to my videos has heard me brag. We have a couple of installs north of 2 million events per second. There is no upper limit to QRadar. Does not exist. There is no limit to the amount of data you can put in it. I can say this because four of the five largest networks in the world use QRadar. There are no networks bigger than this. And this is true for on-cloud as well as on-prem. Um, Watson Cognitive Assistant. You, everybody loves to talk about Watson. It is our security assistant. Uh, same argument you've been hearing from me from the last couple of years is that you cannot get enough good people. All during 2016, 2017, I talked about the statistic that by the end of 2017, we would be short 40,000 data security professionals in the United States alone, and we are currently living in that world. There is not enough good security people for any amount of money. So Watson Cognitive Assistant runs just great inside the QRadar cloud is going to do all that low level, like first level security analytics for you so that after you have an offense, it's going to go through, it's going to do the grunt lifting for you to make it less work for you, not more. Okay. Um, set it up on the same day, tuned it under a month, fully deployed as fast as your team could go. 
you know, it, it's always an argument about how quickly you can set something up. We put a data gateway up. We start collecting data on the spot, right? I mean, it generally takes me a day or so to get it set up for you, but it's not a big deal. Once we get it going, same process, identical process to, queuing, to tuning QRadar on site. We have it tuned in under a month, and then it's a question of how quickly you want to add your resource to it and deploy it. And of course, if you have a gigantic install, it's going to be take longer than a month to tune because there's more things to tune. But pretty well, as fast as you can add assets to your QRadar on the cloud, I can get that going. Okay? Last kind of thought here is if you want my guys to manage it, we can have IBM do a managed sock of a QRadar in the cloud. So I want to draw the point kind of to say if you want to build it yourself in AWS or Azure, absolutely you can. If you want to have it on site and you just want to have hooks into all these other clouds, absolutely you can. If you have a console you like and you want to put some event processors, one in Azure and one in Amazon and a couple in the IBM cloud, sure. Any way you want to build this, it's fully cross-linear compatible including if you can't find the enough smart people to run it. I have a team out of Central America, out of Costa Rica, native English speakers in Central Time, that will run these for you if you can't find the talent to run it yourself. Okay, enough on that horse. So we get past this and everyone says the very next thing, we always handle these in order, is Google Cloud Platform. Coming soon, guys. I do not have it yet. I'm expecting it this year. When I have an up-to-date date, I will have an up-to-date video. Okay, getting away from platforms a little bit, I want to talk about cloud apps and QRadar, right? So I can have an IBM QRadar and I can build it pretty well anywhere, any kind, any flavor. And um, a lot of these cloud apps, they have their own integration APIs, right? They have their ways they want to do it. And then there's lots of different stuff. I've taken some of the big ones and thrown them up there is um, we integrate with each of them as they throw us an API. Now, these are the ones I found easily doing some quick research, but if you have your cloud services provider and it's a question of, can I get the data into QRadar? The answer is uh, almost definitely yes from the get-go. And it's a question of whether or not they have an API for us or whether we have to put um, a collector up there like we did in the old days. At current, I have no one I need to put a collector up there for, except for a few odd use cases, generally involving Windows logs and Amazon. But um, if however it is your cloud app is working, yes, I'll take those logs. Yes, we'll integrate them. Yes, we'll make it work. Last thought for you before we step off is, especially if you've seen my old uh, work here, is can we still do all that other stuff? Yeah, absolutely we can. So Curator on the cloud um, we can do a whole lot of kind of more precise stuff than we used to be uh, thinking about, right? We used to talk about clouds generically, and now it's coming down to three or four providers. But we can do this in any way you want to do it, both cloud-managed services, hosted if you want it, managed if you want it. But the answer is pretty well any way you want to do it. That's what we do. This is Mike Winkler, and this has been our presentation on QRadar on the cloud.